How's it going, you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Now, I was walking around the Build Show out in Vegas about a month back, and there's thousands of different brands, but there was one outlet that kind of caught my eye that I had never seen in the past. Now, this outlet is made by Lightyear, and there's two different versions of that. One like this, where you have full power all the time, and then one where you have one side that's actually controlled by a wall switch. So in this case, you might actually have two outlets that you could turn on and off with the wall switch, such as multiple lamps in your room. Also, this outlet kind of solves the great debate, should you put your ground prongs down or up, because it's got both of them. You have two outlets where ground is down and then two where it's up, or you can actually put one with ground facing down. Maybe you had a large converter box or a wall wart, you need some space, and then you put the other one facing up on top, and then that gives you a little bit more separation than you get in a standard duplex outlet. But I was a little bit skeptical. So what I wanna to do today is go ahead and cut open this outlet, what is on the inside, and then also run a duration test where we max this all the way up to 20 amps, which it should be able to handle, even though it's a 15 amp outlet, to see does it heat up. So we'll use a FLIR thermal imaging camera, let that run for about an hour, and then compare that to our baseline, which is my favorite commercial grade, the Gran outlet. So we'll jump in and do the test. I just wanted to kind of show you the setup and what we're doing. We kind of have two independent circuits. One is powered by this EcoFlow Delta Pro. This one goes to our Legrand commercial grade outlet, kind of our baseline. And then the far EcoFlow Delta Pro is going to power our Lightyear 15 amp outlet. The way we'll be putting load on is I have two space heaters. So the same type of space heater, one for each one of those. And then we have heat guns, which allows me to kind of modulate the wattage. So we're gonna try to get up to 2,400 to 2,500 watts and run that for about an hour. And then every 15 minutes, I'll take this little FLIR thermal imaging camera that goes in the end of my iPhone, and I can actually pop off the back of that metal junction box and then get a real good look right at the back of those outlets to see how much they're warming up, if they're about the same, or are we starting to see quite the difference between the two? We'll go ahead and kick off the test. I'll put the loads on, show you how much wattage we're pulling from each one. And then while we wait for that really to go through the hour cycle, we'll open up those outlets and look at the internals as well. So the loads are on and for the Legrand side, we're about 2750 watts at 120 volts. That'd be right around 23 amps. And then the Lightyear side, the test one that we're doing is 2550. That'd be about 21 amps. So let those loads go ahead and run for 15 minute intervals and try to get about an hour out of them. In the meantime, let's open this guy up. I'm just gonna cut two little slots here in these screws that hold the back housing to the front housing. A few more little clips and we can pop that back housing off and really see the internals. So looking inside, I can right away say this is a, a unique outlet. I've opened up quite a few different residential grade, a lot of commercial grades. Here's my favorite commercial grade. It's a Legrand 15 amp. And here we have more traditional. We have our neutrals on the one slide. So you have two different slots for neutral. We have our hots on the other side, the two slots for your hot. We have a ground that goes to your yoke, and that would be your two different ground products. That's the traditional. This is a very nice outlet. I like this one in terms of its robust construction. This lighter would be the, I would say the opposite of that. Um, so we have hots on the opposite side, right? Just a different design. And then they're actually connected together. So if we just connected one hot conductor in, we would power both sides. So all four different plug locations could be powered, but there's a wire that's soldered between those two that's internally. To me, very shoddy design there. Um, not loving that. And then we have our neutrals internal. Now this does have the back wiring feature, which I do like. So it has those plates that you can pull in with the screw terminals. I do like that. But notice the design here of our tabs and how that would actually hold a plug into place, right? So we'd actually push a plug in here and then that would pinch between those two pieces of metal and it has a bit of a spring force. That is not what's going on here. So here we have, this is where your neutrals would go, and it's just kind of a, a set distance, and it has no spring force. You would just pass that in, and if it ever worked loose over time, that's just gonna be a loose outlet very quickly. There's no spring capability kind of deflect 
you know, and apply pressure to that prong and then let go once it's unplugged. This is kind of a static gap which again, not an awesome design. So those internals are a bit questionable, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Now the test is complete. We were able to run 60 minutes at the amperage that we showed you earlier on both of those EcoFlow Delta Pros. Now before we show the results, if you could do me a favor, this year we're trying to push to 1 million subscribers for the channel and we need your help. All we need, if you like this video or really any other video we put out there, if you could just subscribe to the channel, that will really help us meet that goal. Either way, we'll keep putting out weekly videos to help you guys save time and money around the house, but we really do appreciate your continued support. Now for the data, remember we took four data points and you can see the results right here, both in table form and in graph form. We had the Legrand and then we had the Lightyear. And I'm probably mispronouncing that if you haven't guessed that by now. You can see the Legrand really kind of reached a plateau. And that was at right under 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the Lightyear did kind of step its way up as we got further and further along, kind of ending at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the Lightyear is UL listed. I know that's a big question that you guys have, especially when you're buying things off Amazon. And we should put some context here. Even though there was quite the gap there between the Legrand and the Lightyear, you have to put that in perspective. Most residential electrical components are rated for an operating temperature usually well above 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So even though the Lightyear was much higher, probably a little more resistance in those connections creating a little additional heat, it still was probably far below any type of failure point. Now we already know the internals are a bit questionable in terms of how long will it hold on to your prongs and your plugs so your plugs aren't just starting to fall out after a few months of use. So additional heat is not gonna help that. That additional heat would probably lead to those set gaps kind of loosening up over time and now your outlet is kind of not functional. So although I would not recommend this outlet, I would not use it, I do give them credit for trying to push the designs in terms of what we have for residential electrical components. Components. Other companies like Wago with their 221 lever nut really push design and it's something I use all the time instead of just standard wire nuts. So if you want to dive deeper in that on ideal versus Wago, check out this video right here. And then if you want to see what Leviton did with what's called their Decora Edge and gave us a new way to wire integrating levers there. You can check out this video right here and we'll dive into the complete details on this new product. So thanks for joining us on this video and we'll catch you on one of those next videos. Take care.